Now let's put together a UV layout for the wood pieces and for the padding. So we'll start with the wood pieces. In several of these, we did a quick UV layout on in ZBrush. So some of them will have some UVs already, but we may need to modify them a little bit. For instance, the belt, you can see it looks pretty good, but you can see here it took a chunk off of one side and added it to the other. So we can edit this really quickly, just going in and clicking on that edge. Let's go ahead and cut that apart. And then we can come in here and add it onto the other side. So we'll go ahead and say stitch together. Come in here and stitch those. And then any of these other little bits that were not done correctly, we can kind of sew those together. Sew that together. And it looks like there may be some other little bits down here. I'm not going to worry too much about it. We'll do a quick unfold, kind of clean up the ends. And you can see we can still come in and sew that together. Let's look at this bit right here. So you can just kind of make your way around. And you can see where we've got some stair stepping on there. If you really want to clean that up, then you can go in and cut those pieces off. Now on the belt, you can see how long it is. And so the biggest we can make it is sort of at a diagonal. And so that's, at, that's the most. And so thinking about this, it might be a good idea to actually cut it in the back. You can see we've got this sort of piece on the back. And so what I think we can do is put a seam. If we put a UV seam on the very back, let's see where that is. It looks pretty close there. If we put a UV seam right there, it should be fine. It'll be hidden. So we'll go ahead and say cut. And then we can take both of those. If you want to unfold them separately, you can. But that will allow us to take both of these and we can actually make them a lot bigger. You can see now, you know, they'll fit, they'll be able to take a lot more texture on. Okay. So we've got that one. We've got this one, which is the back piece here. We want to get our textile density similar then we would shrink this down a little bit. Try to get those cubes the same size. So we've got those two pieces. We've also got, we're not going to do the cow. That's going to have its own UVs, but we do have the hip pieces. And so we can come in here and on these hip pieces, you can see that a chunk right here needs to be cut off. So I'll go ahead and cut that off and add it over to the other side. We'll stitch that, go ahead and select that and unfold it. That'll kind of relax everything so that we can go in here and sew everything together. So if you're familiar with UVs, go ahead and just do the rest of the pieces. We're putting the wood all on one piece and we're going to make them a similar uh, density here. So maybe something like that. And then we've got the other piece as well. So we would do the same thing here. Clean that up and see going through this pretty fast, but I want to make sure to, to get it, uh, spend some time and make sure that it's nice and clean. All right. So now once you've got all of your, uh, wood pieces, we can now start to assemble these together. And I think they're probably a little bit too big to all fit right now. And so let's move them over and I'm just going to kind of scale them down just a little and kind of pack these together. And so we can grab this one. Yeah. And they're still going to be, it's going to be a little bit too big still. So if we look at the density, let's just take our entire thing down a little bit. And then we can bring these up here and try to fit these in. And then we can fit this other piece over here. All right. So something like that, let's go ahead and apply it to a material. So I've got a material already. I'm just going to go ahead and apply it to the wood. And now you can see the wood pieces on that blue. Now we also want to do the same thing for the padding. And so the padding are going to be these pieces uh, inside of the cowl. And these are pieces that we created in Maya in the initial course that we didn't have to do any sort of sculpting on. And so they actually don't have any UVs. And so you'll want to go in and create a UV layout for those. And that's going to be on the cowl the inside of the, the belt and the inside of the hip pieces. 
So I'll go ahead and individually create that. And because it's an open shape, it should be pretty straightforward on creating the UVs for that. I'm going to go ahead and start to take everything and just really messily sort of stitch everything together. And you can see it's going to start to take shape right now. It looks like kind of a weird little bug, but we'll just keep stitching things on and unfolding. And then when we get to the end, do another unfold. You can see that's the back. And then these are the two pieces that come down. So again, just like with the belt, I think I'm going to cut it because right now you're not going to get too much detail on there. So let's cut that and then I'll just unfold each piece. And then that will allow us to make these a little bit bigger. Okay. So we've got that one. I'm going to do the same thing with the belt. I'm just going to do an auto map. There are lots of ways, different ways to do this, but with the belts, the same, the same thing. It's an open shape. So knowing that gives me a lot of freedom to just stitch everything together and unfold it. There you go. Those closed shapes are the ones you have to spend a little bit more time on because they have, you have to, you know, figure out where to place seams and things like that. Let's do the side pieces. So these pieces inside here, auto map, little stitch and unfold. Same thing over here, auto map, stitch, unfold. All right. So now once we've got all of our different pieces, and let's select all those together. We'll just do what we did before and place them together on one UV layout, the belt and the inside there. All right. So we can go ahead and place those and do that. Let's place our cowl. The belt will probably want to do the same thing as far as cutting it. Bring that in. And then we've got the two hip pieces. Kind of scale this down a little bit. I'm going to take these hip pieces, scale them down a bit. I'm not too worried about the density on them because they're, we're not going to see them too much. So that those, these will actually fit. I'll bring one of those in here like that and bring the other one in again, just trying to get this done. Okay. So we'll take those objects and we'll go back to our hyper shade and we'll add the pad material. All right, so we've got the blue parts done. We've got the red parts done. We've got the green parts done. So the next thing we're going to do are the sashes. So it's going to be this piece and these pieces off to the side. And so we'll put those together in the next clip.